back to another lesson in Swift for Beginners. In the last lesson, we talked about libraries and frameworks and particularly what this import statement is. In today's lesson, uh, which is going to be another shorter lesson, we're going to talk about styling your code and what the common convention is. So generally, when you name something, and let me also preface by saying that I've kind of mentioned this along the way in other lessons, but I wanted to make a dedicated lesson for it as it's pretty important and people are pretty biased about it. So when you create a variable, you have an option in terms of naming style. So let's give an, let's give a var. Let's say we have a variable and it's going to be number of bank accounts. There are two different common styles to writing that out. One is called snake and one is called camel. So a snake case would look like this. So notice it kind of, I mean, it doesn't look like a snake, but the nature is you have these underscores separating everything. And thus it's called, uh, let's just set it equal to an empty string so it doesn't complain. Um, but this is the nature of a snake case. Now we can also do this. And this is called camel case. And the reason it's called camel case is because the first word is lowercase and everything after that is uppercase. I guess that signifies the hump on the camel's back. Um, I don't really know why it's called camel case. It, I'm assuming that's the reason why. It's. I think that's the reason everyone assumes why. Um, these are kind of computer science agnostic styling standards. But I, I wanted you to be aware of them so when people have discussions in professional settings of naming conditions and styles and standards, um, every team has their own standards. I want you to be aware of what they are. So similarly to naming variables in snake or camel case, functions can also be named in snake or camel case. So let's say is larger than five or is larger than five. Another important thing that I want you to know about naming in general is classes, structs, and protocols, which at this point we've seen all three, uh, are usually all capitalized. In, in other words, rather, the first letter of each word is capitalized. The whole thing is not capitalized. So if we have a class called big person, it would look like that. It would not be snake, it would not be camel. This is generally a good naming convention and standard. Uh, that way you can look at something if you create an instance of Joe and you say it's a Joe is a big person We can know that this is a class by just the way it kind of looks and As you start using these standards and you see those standards are not consistently used It's gonna start to irk you as much as it irks me and other developers that I know So that's about it in terms of standards and naming conventions that I wanted to go over if you found this video helpful please do leave a like comment, subscribe, follow for more content, and I will see you in the next lesson.